another lawn clippings video. Um, today I'm going to do another card post layout. So um, this is a layout that I just made um, about uh, Friday night walks that my husband and I and uh, our dog putter take. And so I just have a couple, you know, different photos here and um, and kind of just did little elements. I used fanciful frames here. Uh, I paper pieced it and then wrote my journaling in it. Uh, I'll bring that up to the camera. And then I also use Say Cheese 2 to do the date. And then I created these fun little doily elements actually using Frosties, our snowflake set. And that's what I think I'm gonna try to use for our for the card today. So um, anyways, this is my layout and um, let's get on to making the card. And, uh, and just again, once again, I did Fanciful Frames, Say Cheese 2, and Frosties. So uh, let's get on to the card. Okay, so this is another one of these. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing, but let's zoom in first. And um, I already did a 4x4 four four card base because I thought that might be a good way to start. Um, but what I want to do is I'm going to use, this is, um, I have my Studio Calico kit out. So that's where all my stuff is. I want to show you guys. Um, you know, if you get any of these monthly kits, I keep them in these boxes from they're from Michaels, uh, just these 12 by 12 boxes. But this one was blue and sparkly, and it reminded me of a caboodle, so um, I bought it. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I keep all my stuff in here, and so this was the kit that I was working with, which is the Singing in the Rain one, which is like my favorite movie of all time. So I was really excited. That's what it was named. So um, I'm just gonna be grabbing the papers and stuff I had out from making that layout. So this was where I was stamping some of my doilies was on this paper that already kind of has some distressing on it. Um, and I thought we'd just start with that. This is the set that we're using, Frosties. And, um, and it's just a super fun winter set, but I wanted to think, okay, how can I use it right now, right when summer's starting? And since the doily trend is so big, this is kind of a lawn fawn doily kind of thing. So um, already I have one of the snowflakes on my block. And um, I have, um, you can see this is the one of these large ones right here. And this one works so well for this. So what you do is you just, you know, ink up. Right now I'm using some stick candy, Jenny Bolin ink. And I'm just going to stamp that right on the edge here. Just like a normal snowflake. Oh, and that was off. Okay, but you guys know what I mean. I'm going to zoom in a little bit right now so you can see what I'm going to do next. Then what I'm going to do is just ink up my snowflake again. And I'm gonna stand up so my head's not in the way and you guys can actually see this. I'm gonna line it up and turn it so that everything is, is in between the spaces, if that makes sense. So just like that, and then stamp. And look at that gorgeous image. Like you could make a whole card background with those kind of like medallions. I mean, it's like, I had no idea that was gonna happen when I tried it. I'm so glad that I tried it. So um, that's kind of what it looks like. And then there's a couple different ways to get looks out of this with punches. So I'm gonna stamp it one more time. Um, let's do it in a different color ink just for fun. We'll do um, maybe a nice yellow one or lemon drops color one. So just ink that up. And then we're just going to go, you're going to see my frizzy hair now, but uh, I'm just going to go like that and line it up. Super easy and we have another fun medallion and of course I was off camera there a little bit, but I apologize for that. I think I need to zoom out some, what do you think? Okay, zooming out. All right. So. The really fun thing that you can do with this is using different punches to get different shapes. So obviously you could use these just like this, um, but then also um, you can get all sorts of different cool little shapes. So this is, I don't even know how small this is. It's the green Marvy one. I'll tell you when I punch it out, but I think it's like five eighths. And so sometimes you kind of have to um, cut a little bit because it's, especially for this little one, we're trying to get the center of this. And so, Part of the paper was in the way. So I'm just gonna move that up and right there, cut a little bit more. I rather have to cut a little bit more than cut too much off, you know what I mean? So it's like getting your hair cut, you know? With your bangs, you just, you start with less and then you can, more I mean, and then you can cut off less. Okay, so now we can line up that center right there oh, and get this really cool look. So this punch is, yeah, it looks like it's the, it's a, 
it's the Z one. It's a three quarter punch. So look how pretty that is. It's just like this perfect little medallion kind of center. So there's that one. And then, I mean, you actually get a really cool shape when you cut it out too, like a really fun sun shape. Um, another size punch is I have a one and one quarter scallop. I'm just using punches that I have. I certainly don't have every size. And so this one, I'm just kind of lining it up with those diamonds from the snowflake and centering it a little bit better there. And just punching out this really cute scalloped one. Um, and one more size that looks really good. So we'll stamp out um, one more color. Let's see, maybe we'll do a red. So I'm just going to stamp this again. Snowflake. And... There. So we have our fun medallion there stamped. And then... I'm going to cover my red ink up because that's just asking for it to spill on me. Okay. And then the other size punch that I liked with this was one and one eighth. Obviously, you guys could try any like cool punches that you have. But this one, you can see you kind of get like another look when you punch it. So once again, I'm just going to try to kind of line it up. And there's really no, like it doesn't even have to be centered. Like it just, once you punch it out, it's just so cute. It doesn't... Like the, this one's a little off center, but they just look really cool and like unique little embellishments, especially when you stamp them on a paper like this that already has a really just slight texture to it. This, by the way, is the Cosmo Cricut Dandelions for Studio Calico paper, but like the basic gray basics would work really well for this too. And there's a lot of papers like that out there. So right now we have these really, really cool medallions um, that, that we can use on a card, which is really exciting. So um, I'm gonna get to making a card in fast motion and um, I'll be back at the end. Okay, let's go super speed.
so our card is all done. I'm, I used some malted uh, milk ink in the background with the hearts from Teeny Tiny Backdrops. And um, and you can see malted ink, malted uh, milk ink, this Jenny Bolin ink, it fades into craft really well. And what I like about that is it just gives a really subtle texture. It's not like, ah, hearts. It's hearts. So and that's kind of why I like that. Um, I used, this was all stuff that I had out um, on my desk except for this pink the pink and blue buttons, which I ended up looking for. Um, these were um, thickers from the kit that I had used in my layout also. I had used this postage stamp border punch. The twine was from the kit, the paper, um, and everything. And so um, I was able to incorporate my cute little kind of doily um, snowflakes, and no one will know they're snowflakes, and uh, and make this um, sweet card. And you could use this, um, this kind of pattern and do um, thanks or um, hi, or you could even like stamp a sentiment thinking of you, etc. So um, there's lots of options with this. Um, thank you so much for watching. You guys rock, and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!